a total eclipse of the sun, visible today over North America for the last time in this century. This is an ABC News special. Live coverage of the solar eclipse. Now from New York, here is correspondent Frank Reynolds. Good morning. This is indeed a special events broadcast of a genuine special event. The last total eclipse of the sun over the continent this century. The moon is moving between the sun and the earth and across a relatively narrow strip of the northwestern United States and central Canada. What you are seeing now is a picture taken from the Goldendale Observatory. And it is, it's showing the eclipse of the sun over Portland, Oregon. It is approximately 75% or so of uh, totality. In 13 minutes, it will be uh, total over Portland, and we'll show you a fantastic sight then. Now let's move about 500 miles east to uh, Goldendale, Washington. Oh, no, this is to Helena, I'm sorry. To uh, Helena, Montana. And you see there are some clouds there, and the eclipse is not nearly as total. Uh, at about uh, 23 minutes or so from now, it will be total. We have cameras stationed all over the uh, place. Here is the Portland skyline. Now, in about 12 minutes or so, Portland is going to go dark. Look at it right now. As you can see it, uh, the eclipse over Portland at the moment is about 75% or so. But uh, Portland is covered with a cloud cover, which is not at all unusual for this time of year. Some people say for almost any time of the year. But uh, very shortly now, Portland is going to go dark because the eclipse, as you see it there now, this is taken, this picture is from our Goldendale Observatory, which is 100 miles uh, inland, and that is in the state of Washington. It's a remarkably clear picture. It shows approximately, I would say, 75 to 80 percent of uh, totality. Uh, but the interesting thing that we're going to be able to show you is uh, the, uh, the total darkness that will come over Portland before too long. Well, we're praying for good weather, of course, along the path of the eclipse. Uh, we appear to have it, uh, by and large. We have correspondents and cameras in Oregon, Washington, and Montana. We're on the ground. We're on top of Mount Hood. We're in a plane over Portland. And the best place for most of you to see the eclipse, and the safest, is where you are right now, in front of your television set. Thank you, Bob. We're back now to a live picture. This is the eclipse of the sun. It is uh, about 95% or so total now, as taken uh, over Portland, Oregon, from our camera in Goldendale, Washington. Let's go to Jules Bergman, who is there now. Frank, as you can see, the eclipse is virtually complete. We're about seven or eight minutes away from totality. This is known as the second, fa the second phase of the eclipse, and the solar disk is about 85% blotted out by the lunar disk. Shortly, if all goes well and we're not blocked out by clouds, you may begin to be see, <coughs> you may begin to see Bailey's beads, faint rims of light jumping up from the lunar, from the solar surface, uh, as matched out by the faint rims of solar light coming through lunar valleys. And there's our problem now, cloud decks, yes. cloud decks soaring through. There are literally thousands of people gathered at this small observatory, and it's almost a ritual feat. Now, the cloud, as you can see, is, uh, have moved away, and you've got a clearer picture again. Jules, uh, it really is a spectacular picture, and I'd just like to remind everybody that what we're really seeing here, that sliver of light that is slowly disappearing behind the clouds there, is not the moon, but it is the sun, and now it's gone. We showed you the picture just a few moments ago when it was approximately 75% of totality and it was quite bright. Now Portland is getting dark. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's midnight in Portland. or at the eclipse. Jules, can you, uh, you can't see Portland from where you are, but I must tell you it's a spectacular sight. It's, it's, uh, it's midnight, practically. Frank, and Now we can see, uh, now I believe we're back to your camera and we see a sliver of the sun, not quite total there yet. Frank, it's eerie. It's black here, getting to be totally black, darkness at noon or midnight, as you called it. <laughs> People are hushed in what almost seems like a ritual thing that mankind has been silenced by in awe since the beginning of civilization. 
and we're now just seconds away from totality. Thousands of people gathered around here for this event, which, as I said earlier, is a little bit like the first manned space flight in terms of crowd. And we're going to move on now to Helena, Montana, where Ron Miller is on top of a uh, hotel there, and the eclipse is due there in about, uh, oh, I guess, about four minutes. But I'm, is this, is this Helena? This is Helena. Come in, Ron. Frank, we're getting lucky. Uh, the clouds have been playing tag with the sky all morning, uh, with, the, with the sun, I should say. And as you mentioned, we're just a few minutes away from totality. And it's amazing how the temperature has dropped here in the past few minutes as the, uh, as the moon moved in front of the sun. This is Helena, Montana, over my shoulder here. It is beginning to uh, get dark there because the total eclipse is only a minute or so away, perhaps even less than that. Let's go to Ron Miller. Frank, that's the uh, last chance gulch we're looking at. $125 million in gold was taken out of there in just a few years during the 1800s, but it can't compare to the excitement, I think, that, uh, that's being felt throughout the Rockies right now. There are thousands of people here uh, who've come from around the world because the totality of the eclipse is uh, to last here longer, perhaps, than anywhere else during the, uh, the path of the totality. And as you can see, it's getting very dark. Or the sun eclipsed by the moon. Frank, Listen to this the, is, go ahead, Ron. Frank, this is absolutely Ooh, at, amazing. There, it is. there you can see it. Uh, the roar of the crowd has just gone up. This is just the most exciting thing I think I've ever uh, participated in. This is the best picture we've had yet. This is the best. Frank, I can't tell you how lucky we are. There have just oh. been thousands of people running around the Rocky Mountains, going as much as four and 500 miles during the night, trying to find a hole in the uh, clouds. We were told there'd be a total cloud cover here. And as you can see, somebody's on our side uh, this morning. I think I see the diamond ring effect at 6 o'clock and again at, uh, at 11. I think so. <laughs> or 10. No, it's 11. Oh, gee, that is really something. And your, your clouds have cleared, Ron, just in time, eh? You know, Frank, up until uh, oh, four or five minutes ago, there was an entire cloud cover across the sun. Um, it's absolutely amazing. I don't know uh, how, uh, how this has happened. And I think we're going to have a clear shot at the eclipse throughout its totality of about two and a half minutes. As I mentioned, there's a path of about 170 miles that is now experiencing this darkness through Montana. And uh, in just a short time, the eclipse will be moving on through the Dakotas and then into, uh, into Canada. The light here is eerie. It's a uh, yellowish gray on the horizon. Uh, and I just hope that those people who've traveled through the Rocky Mountains all night are, are enjoying this eclipse as much as we are here. Well, I'm quite sure that they are. Gee, after making all that effort to get to a place where even just a few clouds could blot out a site that, we must remind you again, will not be seen on this continent in uh, this century, not until, let's see, what is it, August 21st, 2017 or so? You know, Frank, we be able to see another one. Mentioning uh, that kind of time span, I was uh, talking to a scientist who said, on the average, an eclipse will happen in the same place perhaps every 360 years. And I was just wondering, uh, thinking about what this area was like 360 years ago. A few uh, French trappers. Crow and Blackfeet Indians, and, mm -hmm. uh, and now we have people uh, running around the Rockies in their cars trying to find it. I wonder what it's going to be 300 years from now. You wonder what the reaction was of the people who saw it, too, at that time. Precisely. Yeah. Um, Gee, the sun worship that was uh, so prevalent at that time. The, now it's beginning to move oh, away, isn't it, Ron? There, yes, There's now, the diamond now the city oh, is coming to that. light again. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> once again quickly see if it's uh, become light there again can we do that hey there we are welcome back to daylight portland <laughs> so that's it the last solar eclipse to be seen on this continent in this century and as i said not until august 21st 2017 will another eclipse be visible from north america that's 38 years from now may the shadow of the moon fall in a world at peace and abc news of course will bring you a complete report on that next eclipse 38 years from now I want to thank everybody involved in this magnificent undertaking. It's been just great. We've had a lot of fun. This is Frank Reynolds in New York, and we'll have a complete report on the world news tonight. The Solar Eclipse, an ABC News special, was brought to you by American Express Traveler's Checks. Don't leave home without them. This has been a presentation of ABC News.